I was 17 years old. I don't, I don't ever play these songs for people. <laughs> these are the ones that don't go to the band. They're just kind of for me. But I, you know, I'm feeling a little more comfortable up here. And the more, the more I do it, the more it feels right to be really honest. So this is a song called Mabel, and I wrote it. big stage in my life where I was absolutely terrified of the idea and um, I thought that it would be really wonderful to never ever have to die and I didn't get why we had to do it and so I wrote this the song about this girl that could never die but then I started to really think about it and then I made a pros and cons list about what it would be like to in this case be a woman that would, could never die but everybody else did and so you end up just losing people all the time, and, and it seemed like all of a sudden my pros and cons list was, you know, hilariously imbalanced with uh, the cons of staying alive forever when everybody else around you goes when it's their time. This song's called Mabel. It's about me meeting a woman that can't die and uh, asking her some questions.
you guys so much for letting me fumble through some of these. even though they were telling everybody to get out of there. Um, so I wrote a song called Freddy's Regret. Here we go. 
Um, this next song, there, I went through a uh, phase uh, about six months, I think, where I was enjoying my dreams so much more than my life. Like, my dreams were beautiful, and then I'd wake up and I'd have to deal with all of this life. Like, just this really beautiful span of a few months where my dreams were just, just fun and wonderful, and then you'd wake up and you'd be like, right, okay, so we're here now. So this song's called Stay Asleep. Um, I, if you've ever been there. I'm very, my life is wonderful now. Uh, my dreams are terrifying. They're fun. Weird, but fun. So this song's called Stay Asleep. and also wonderful, so thank you very much. It had to happen at some point. The funny thing is I used to do it all the time. All the time when I was, um, like, uh, probably from the age of 17 to 22 before I started fronting a band. And then I got a band and I was like, I don't have to do that anymore. So, you know, 10 years later, well, nine.
it, you know, roots music. There's a reason it's called roots music. I always compare acoustic roots, you know, a banjo, uh, upright bass, all of that as, you know, drums, especially drums, is earth, is roots music, whereas this more digital stuff sounds like outer space to me. And I think that there's, it's very important to have both. I mean, my name, I was named after Haley's Comet and my grandma Mary Jane, and she used to joke that uh, Mary Jane grows from the ground and Haley's Comet comes from, Haley's Comet comes from outer space, and so there's this beautiful balance. And I've always tried to really uh, embrace that. Um, in a song that I'm gonna play later with the boys, there's a line, rooted like a tree, shooting like a star. The humans exist in that beautiful plane uh, in between the earth and the sky. And it's all about balance. If there's one lesson I learned in the last few years, it's all about balance. It's not easy, but you do it. Um, I'm rambling now. That's because that's because I don't have enough material to fill two sets. I told them. Yeah, that's good. Storytelling is good. That's one thing I, I enjoyed about, uh, I had a few fans say, you know, we love the direction your band is going in, but you don't talk as much. You know, it's, Can you say it's funny when you think that things have to be a certain way and you forget what you enjoy doing. You think, oh, we should go from song to song with no breaks because, you, you know, you won't lose the momentum. But then I remember that I'm a storyteller. I tell a story every Thursday on Facebook to Facebook Live. Okay. Have, you, have you seen story time, sir? I missed this last Thursday. It's very uh, sporadic these days, but yeah. Thursday, 10 p.m., I tell a story to Facebook if you ever just need to get tucked in and get my story told to you. There's some pretty funny ones. Um, you can walk around with it, but I'm going to eat from it before I eat. You get to eat? Yeah, yeah. One of my favorite things about folk music is it gets passed down. There's no folk and bluegrass musicians don't seem to be as obsessed with the whole rights thing as a lot of other musicians are. So these songs get passed down from generation to generation to generation. And not only that, but people add their own verses. They write their own verses, they make it theirs. Um, so that's what I've done. I've kept a lot of the original verses, but I threw in one of my own, a few of my own, uh, to this song. It's called Shenandoah. Um, it was also called Shenandoah Lullaby. Um, my favorite version is by Trampled by Turtles. Um, so that's where I took it from. But it's called Shenandoah, and it's a beautiful song. <laughs>
more to me now than they ever did when I wrote it, which is pretty amazing. Um, it's colorful. It's about uh, feeling a little empty space and not really knowing why. Uh, but you find slowly as you go through life, or at least I'm only 31, but I've found different things that fill that space very nicely. Music fills that space. Friends fill that space. Uh, this place fills that space for me. So this song's called Hole. We allow Write it down. 
Thank you very much. I'm gonna do one more and then take a very short break and then I'm gonna bring some friends up and we're gonna do some really fun stuff for you uh, that we rehearsed in the office about a, an hour ago. It's better on the fly anyway. separately, so um, if something's better than the other, what yeah, you, can, you can, you can uh, edit them. I can just use the ones that are too fast, but see how this sounds now with those music. Well, there's nothing to listen to, but yeah. is that, what did you say? Yeah, in the front. Front. yeah right. right. Yeah. So the, that's about the best I can do. Yeah. 
Well, those are fairly directional. I actually have to make them. Are those are unidirectional? Yeah. Yeah, I've got three different This army? No. No, I don't have any of them. They're all directional. Partially. 